Welcome to a Tech Tangent Micro Tangent, and today we're going to be taking a look at this original Apple Image Writer dot matrix printer, because unfortunately it has a bit of a problem, and almost anything I print with it exhibits the problem. One of the pins is stuck. So today we're going to take a look at a couple of different options for unsticking the print head inside a dot matrix printer. From my experience, the most common type of ribbon on a dot matrix printer is a fabric ribbon. Now the downside of a fabric ribbon is that the ink is permeated through it and it's on both sides. So as the ribbon is depressed, some ink invariably ends up sticking to the pins and pulled back to the print head. And that's almost guaranteed to be what has happened here. So really we need to remove the head from the print carriage and try to clean it off. Now if you can find a character that will really exercise that pin, you might be able to get it to break free, and that is what happened here. But I have already pulled this head off and taken a look at it, and it's really filthy. So even if you can do this, you may want to consider trying to clean it anyway. It's really not that hard, as you'll see. Dot matrix printers were popular when maintenance and serviceability was a key feature people were looking for, and all of the dot matrix printers I have that I've checked have easily removable print heads. The Apple Image Writer here is very easy. All you have to do is loosen two screws to loosen the ribbon guides and then pull the head out while making sure the paper bale isn't in the way. I also have a Microline 92 where the head doesn't look too bad to remove and an Epson DFX 5000 where the head has a ribbon cable permanently attached to it, but it looks like it's only two screws away from coming out. Print heads like this were considered a consumable component because they have fragile moving parts and can wear out. You can even buy replacement parts and there are still some of these new in stock on eBay. They aren't affordable so I wouldn't recommend going that route, but that's just to give you an idea of the type of maintenance that they assumed you would want to do with a printer like this. After removing the other ribbon guide from the print head, we can see just how caked in it is with ink. This thing has clearly seen a lot of action. So we want to get in there and try and clean that out. All right, now for cleaning, we're going to want to do this in two steps. First off, I recommend getting a toothbrush and then just scraping the bulk material off of the head here. That way, when you go to use a solvent, it doesn't have to work its way through all of the material that's on it. And we can see, yeah, I'm getting a fair bit of ink off of there. This is gonna be a time saver, really. So uh, yeah, just do this for a bit and then uh, we can move on to step two. Now for step two, I'm going to go ahead and use a 91% isopropyl alcohol. And the objective here is to dissolve the ink in the print head into the isopropanol. So you're going to want to get a little bit of it into a container that you can dip the print head into and try to get that to soak in around the pins and then get it out. And you might want to repeat this process a couple times because after I did my first round, you can even see the ink seeping out around the pins and getting back on the top of them. I'm going to repeat this process of dipping it and drying it out a few times just to make sure I get everything. All right, I ended up soaking the print head in the isopropanol for a little bit too, and it definitely got a lot of ink out. So that is looking much, much better now, and I'll get one more tied up shot here. And you can see there is just so much less ink stuck onto the front of that. Actually, I decided to let it soak for about an hour more because as I set up to get that shot of how clean it was, more ink just kept weeping out of it. So I figured it needed it. Uh, now we'll go ahead and pull this out one more time. Yeah, a lot more ink came out of there, so that was needed. Now I'll give this a moment to dry and see if finally the ink will stop coming out of it. Oh yeah, that is dramatically better than what it looked like when I first pulled it out of the printer. All right, now that it's all back together, let's see it in action. Oh yeah, that is much better. Well, there we go. That is it fully repaired and working. And what's kind of fun is here I have a printer from 1983 with a computer from 2013, 30 years of separation between these two. And I guess they're both technically made by Apple, but I'm using Linux and it still works just fine.
I really like dot matrix printers. That sound just, mm, yes. I feel like most people have probably heard that sound either through experiencing these devices themselves or just in line at the DMV. Well, that's pretty much it when it comes to cleaning the print head of a dot matrix printer. They're really simple and maintainable devices if you just go for it. I think you're probably not likely to damage one of these, so just give it a shot. You may want to consider oiling the pins. I didn't think that it needed it based on how small and compact everything is, and they're not two pieces of metal rubbing together. It looks like they're isolated in some kind of plastic block, so I think they're probably good, but that is something to consider. For now though, that's it. I hope this helps someone out in getting their dot matrix printer up and running again. If you want to support the channel, I am on Patreon, but for now, that's it, and I'll see you next time.